The first friendly of Liverpool season showed us a lot of things. For one, I now know of a club called Karl Schroer. Karl Schroer. Karl Schroer. Yeah, first game, 4-2 win. Uh, amongst the excitement, we got a glimpse of Liverpool's new midfield, including the debut of Soboslai and McAllister. We saw a positive display from our forwards, especially. We now know that Salah is going to have to work like even harder to like be our top scorer because our forwards right now are so stacked. We saw that Liverpool are still willing to be comeback merchants, which is which is very exciting to know about because, you know, it was really fun when we were just, you know, coming back every single week to win. But we also saw like, a couple kind of red flags, some like mistakes which need to be mended before the season starts and they will be mended before the season starts. I'm sure that's what these preseason games are for. But yeah, the main attraction of the show, the debuts of McAllister and Sober Sly. I've already made a video on these blokes, so go check it out. I'll put it in the card. Yeah, Klopp was testing the waters today, I think, with Dominic. He he put him all over the midfield. He put him on the left side. He put him on the right side. He came deep to receive some balls. You know, he was pinging balls, like, from left to right. But he was quite happy to sort of save his offensive aggression, I feel. And that's just until he gets a bit more comfortable, you know, in red, you know, until he finds his footing. But it was a comfortable, it was a positive performance from him, and he's still got plenty to show. But McAllister, he's looking silky when he gets the ball, you know. He's got that South American rough in him. Yeah, he seemed to get up the pitch slightly more than Dominic today. He got a really nice assist to Jota for his second. He's been in the Prem for a couple years now, so I think he's a bit more accustomed to the sort of pace and the sort of system that Liverpool use, you know, having versed him a couple times throughout the years. And I think that led to him having a bit more, being a bit more comfortable playing. Really good stuff from him. Very promising debut. I think the idea idea Klopp has with these two players is to sort of share the load of creating from the midfield that has arise since Firmino left. We'll be missing Firmino's ability, you know, drop deep and just, yeah, create, create from those middle areas. So I think these two players will be acting as like a replacement to that while also still being solid defensively. Now moving on, Trent has returned to his classic Champions League winning haircut. Beautiful. But today he was pretty much playing for Fabinho's role just because, you know, Fabinho fucked off to Saudi Arabia, which fair enough, good on him. He's done so much for this club, but he, he wants to go. I respect it, mate. Go get that oil money. Go and make that bag. But yeah, Trent did pretty well filling those shoes. You know, just keep in mind that it's totally different playing a completely new position in the Premier League versus a second tier German side. I'm interested to see though, like how much he plays as a strict number six throughout the year. But as fans, I'm sure we're all pretty excited to see that happen. Our forwards are where I'm most impressed, however. Each one of our forwards shows why they can start each week. Salah with his long ass hair. I love that shit. That shit is amazing. You got a really nice assist to Nunes who kind of fucked up when trying to be unselfish. Gakpo had plenty to do dropping into the midfield and turning his defender in the box to get his goal. Really class. Diaz wasn't on the stat sheet, but he still put in a shift. Um, but the person that can get us the most excited is Jota, man. This guy has so much class in him he's so good in the air he has incredible patience he's lethal in front of goal he honestly doesn't have much more to do to earn his 90 minutes every week like Salah I feel he's that good and he's honestly one of the most underrated forwards in the prem in my opinion my preferred front three right now is probably with him on the left we have Gakpo up top and then Salah on the right I think that's just absolutely killer you know Nunes and, and Diaz coming off the bench would be perfect that'd, that'd be good but now to take a bit of a darker turn we didn't see Henderson today and I've just read that he's left the club. <laughs> he's gone to Saudi Arabia with Gerard to get oil money. <laughs> nah, honestly, fucking good on him. <laughs> Mate, Jordan Henderson has done us so proud over the years. He's literally led our club through the highest of highs over the past couple of seasons. It's really tough to see him go, but maybe it's the right time. Maybe he's done all he can for our club. And honestly, El Captainino. Best of luck to you. Love you. When our young kids came on in the second half, though, they let in the weirdest fucking goal where at one point we were playing like a, a 2 4 4 formation. I don't even know what Klopp's been fucking telling them, but that's not football. Like, what is going on? Like, what is going on? Like, what is going on there? Why the. What? That makes no sense. You can see all the Liverpool's player on the screen right now. That's crazy. But yeah, their goals like were pretty much like absolute screamers, but we won't be letting in those type of goals when the season comes around. We'll be a bit more switched on, a bit more focused. You know, it's just a friendly. Calm down. Virgil, though, now has the armband, which is just... Fits him. It fits him. But yeah, that's it, lads. It's a good win. Some good signs, some stuff to work on, some new things to try. Yay!